Hi, here's the headquarter of International Cosmic Day. I'm Caroline. I'm Nora. And we are happy that you are here with us. We work at the research center in Daisy. We work in a, near, in a small town near Germany, near Berlin in Germany. And we are pleasure to, to welcome you to the 10th International Cosmic Day. The International Cosmic Day is organized once a year. We organize this day in honor of the cosmic rays that surround us all the time, but which we do not notice. We can neither see, smell, taste, nor hear them, but they are always there. Cosmic rays produce polar lights. With them, it is possible to X-ray pyramids, and they are the motor of our life. Cosmic particles are messengers from outer space and help us better to understand our universe. Scientists around the world are working together to understand the secrets of our universe. Today, on this day, they want to share their research with you. This is a very special International Cosmic Day. It's the 10th and we are celebrating our anniversary with a video. International Cosmic Day. Alles Gute zum 10-jährigen Jubiläum. Happy 10th Anniversary. Happy Birthday. Buon decimo anniversario. Congratulations. Hi, my name is Caroline Schwert and I organize the International Cosmic Day. Nice to have you all here. Hello from Winnemac, Indiana in the United States. Uh, we are super excited to celebrate the 10th anniversary of International Cosmic Day. Uh, we can't wait to learn about these invisible messengers from space that come and visit us in our own classroom. Eccoci qua, questo è il nostro bellissimo laboratorio da dove abbiamo seguito l'anno scorso l'International Cosmic Day. Das Besondere am International Cosmic Day ist, dass die Jugendlichen an dem Tag sehr schnell verstehen lernen, wie internationale Zusammenarbeit funktionieren kann, wie neues Wissen geschaffen wird und wie viele Menschen auf der Welt dazu beitragen, unsere Wissenschaft voranzubringen. Students use a handy cosmic ray detector in their home and communicate with each other in online by Zoom and Slack, so that any student can start their research work wherever they live. We are expecting international collaboration with other countries through this International Cosmic Day. The purpose of the CCOC is to encourage the student to search the secrets of the universe and learn better about physics. I believe that what they like is really doing physics with their own hands. Dafür müsst ihr euch ein bisschen ausrüsten. Dann gibt's einen Hammer in die Hand und baut zusammen mit uns diese wunderschönen Nebelkammern, in denen wir gemeinsam unsichtbares sichtbar machen können. Ich habe das erste Mal 2012 am ICD teilgenommen hier in dem Raum. Das war natürlich lange her. Und ist trotzdem jedes Jahr wieder spannend. Man trifft ja jedes Jahr auch neue Schüler. Bah, du coup, on avait fait des recherches en amont et du coup, on a appris plein de choses sur les particules cosmiques et puis, enfin, de pouvoir utiliser les machines et de faire des rencontres avec les chercheurs, c'était, bah, c'était vraiment cool. Speriamo di tornare a visitare i laboratori e a seguire questo evento in presenza nella splendida cornice del Gran Sasso. Um, I'm curious about the physics that beyond standard physics, standard models. And I believe that um, the partial high energy cosmic ray will give us the, an answer. The universe is always fascinating for me. Uh, and uh, now I'm happy I'm doing research in particle physics. I'm uh, do, uh, designing some small experiment uh, to measure muons. Ten years ago was the first uh, International Cosmic Day. Um, I was 16, I was in 10th grade. It definitely helped me out a lot and I went to several events in my school time after the Cosmic Day and started to study physics then. Right now I'm in Boston uh, working in biotech. So that's, that's the short story of the effect of the Cosmic Day. Es gibt noch viel im Universum zu entdecken und der ICD wird weitermachen.
Vielen Dank an euch alle. Ohne euch wäre der Tag nicht möglich. Nous, en tout cas, ça nous a beaucoup plu. Voilà. On vous souhaite bonne chance. Oui, c'est ça. A presto! A presto! A presto. A presto. So, this video only show, shows a few of the people who participate over the last years in the International Cosmic Day. Today, in this welcome call, we have two special guests. First, we would like to warmly welcome Ralf Engel from the great Auger Experiment and hear what they have to say to you young scientists. Hi, Ralf. Hello, hello everybody. It's a great pleasure to be here and to be able to greet you for the International Cosmic Day. That's something very, very special. And I'm greeting you on behalf of a big collaboration, 400 scientists, engineers, technicians, students, and lots of people supporting this. And it's one of the biggest instruments that has ever been built on Earth to detect particles from the cosmos. If you remember, we have cosmic particles reaching the Earth all the time, spending a very, very wide range in energy. And we, from the Pierre Auger Observatory, we look for those particles of the absolutely highest energies. So we go to extremely high energies. And we do this in Argentina. And how do we do it? And this is shown in the background. So if you look to this side, you see, for example, a particle coming in. And there's a background image here behind me. And this particle produces a cascade of secondary particles, new particles, more and more. And this cascade goes down through the entire atmosphere and reaches ground. And then we use detectors, very robust detectors running in the field. And this is what you see here on this side. It's water tanks with 12 tons of water. And we have many of them, very many. We have 1,600 detectors and more. And we have telescopes and additional equipment, radio antennas. And altogether, it's a very big observatory we have set up. And if you think what means big, Big means is 50 kilometers times 60 kilometers in size. This way, we measure in Argentina the highest energy particles. And it's a very, very exciting endeavor. It's, after all, it's 400 people from 17 countries working on it. And if you ask me how many young people worked on it, it's a very large number. We measure this already over a period of time, more than 15 years, and it's 460 young people who wrote a PhD thesis, and at least as many worked in their studies at the university on this experiment, because it's so much fun. And what we want to find out, let me close with that. We want to understand where those particles come from, because they have such an extreme energy that we never can build, make on Earth. And we think it could be supermassive black holes. It could be star forming galaxies where there are bursts of star formation, new suns born. It could be something else. It could be rapidly spinning neutron stars. And we are very close to finding that out. Now, you are interested in that all. So I wish you a fantastic day. I wish you that you learn a lot and that you see what other people also do. I can tell you it's, it's a really, really interesting science. Follow the guided tours, get engaged, and I hope in the end, 
we will welcome you at some day at the Pierre Observatory in Argentina. Because that's really a very nice place, I can tell you, and I'm very much looking forward to going there again. And now I give back to Nora. Thanks. Thank you very much for these motivating words, Ralph. And if you want to learn more about Ushi, check out the activity section on our website. Now we come to our second guest, Elisa Prandini. She works at the University of Padua, Italy, and she's the star of our online lessons. She has recorded two videos, especially for this year's ICD, so that you can learn also from scientists from the comfort of your own home. You can access these videos on the ICD website. And we also have something new this year for the first time at the ICD, a drawing contest. Elisa has already done something similar with young people in Italy. Dear Elisa, how was that? How was the teamwork with the students? Hi, Nora. Hi, Caroline. It's a pleasure to be here. And yes, I, I've had this uh, wonderful experience about uh, drawing and science. That is a fantastic uh, uh, merge of uh, different expertise. Let me show you what uh, uh, we did in, uh, in Italy. So I had the idea two years ago to organize a, co a conference on, co on uh, specific um, objects that are blazers. And while I was trying to organize the material for advertising the conference, I realized that uh, I needed some help me and my colleagues, because we are scientists and we wanted to do a, a nice uh, drawing and um, graphic material to promote the conference. So we proposed to secondary schools in Padova uh, and in Veneto in Italy um, to, to make a stage with us and to, with the with the objective of producing graphic material for the conference. Finally, we had three students that were very talented and they produced the supporting material that you can see in this, uh, in this poster that I'm showing you. In, all, uh, this, in this poster, there are many details. We had to do a few uh, lectures with them so we could uh, explain them what we uh, what are the objects uh, that were the subject of the conference, but also they were free to interpret, of course, the, the feelings uh, about uh, the, the, our scientific uh, objects. And at the end, this is, uh, this is the result. Uh, and we were very happy about it. And also the, the conference participants were, were very happy. So it, since you are organizing a drawing contest, my suggestion to the student is, okay, don't be afraid. Science sometimes is, is, is challenging, is difficult, but uh, try to, get, to, to listen to the lectures, to, the, to have a look to the material that we organize for you, and then try to get an inspiration, what you feel and try to, to draw it, okay? This is the, the key. You don't have to redo something that has been already done. You can be, I think you can use your imagination. So uh, this is how we did. For example, here the background was done with nails. <laughs> real, real nails uh, are the stars here. So just to make an example of how you can be creative when you, you, you do uh, even science, but with, with images, okay? Yeah, oh, that is really cool. Thank you, yeah. And this picture actually made it to the cover of Nature Astronomy. How did this happen? So it was really uh, a lucky experience. After the conference, we organizer decided to do uh, a paper about the, the scientific uh, results shown in the conference of these uh, extreme blazers that are these uh, fantastic objects in the background. And uh, when the paper was accepted, the editor asked us if we had a, an image to propose for the cover of, uh, of the journal. Uh, the journal is uh, Nature Astronomy, that is a, a cousin of nature. Uh, this is an online journal. So we, we thought, why don't we propose <laughs> the image that was uh, actually produced for, for the conference. So we proposed it and yeah, we had uh, this uh, fantastic news that the, our drawing was accepted as, as cover page. And in February, 2020, it, it appeared <laughs> uh, 
as you can see here in the image. That was very cool also for the students that are, are were art students, now they are at the university. Uh, they had a, a fantastic experience, yeah. Thank Unexpected, so much, of Anita. course, when we started. <laughs> So not only through words, but also through pictures, you can explain to others what you think and exchange ideas. So we are looking forward to your pictures and we are very happy about your contributions. With all these inspiring words that we just heard, we would now like to release you into an exciting day full of new insights. And to keep us connected throughout the day, you can use Facebook and Instagram. Yeah, and don't forget to visit our website and in particular the activity section. Maybe you have caught fire like we did and want to deal with cosmic particles further. Then you will find there some ideas. So be curious, have a great time and we wish you a great day. Bye bye. Goodbye.